My name is Alexander. I'm a lot software developer. And uh, my part of presentation is uh, a little bit technical. How many uh, developers are here? Okay, take your hands. Oh, it's so it's a good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, a lot of person don't panic. Uh, I want to show how we use Ethereum infrastructure in our project. Uh, as an intro, some words about me. I got master degree in Moi University. About six years I work with uh, robotics and industrial automation. And last three years I developed Ethereum platform application. For my work at Aerolab, I develop software architecture and choose the Aero project technology stack. And in the first part, I talk a little bit about Ethereum infrastructure. What is Ethereum? Ethereum is a platform for blockchain application. But it is not only platform, it's infrastructure too. And for my personal opinion, we can highlight some important things of Ethereum infrastructure. The first is a peering network in the nodes uh, of Ethereum clients. Uh, of course, it is Ethereum blockchain who store assets. And finally, it's Ethereum virtual machine for smart contracts. I prepare a couple of projects that use Ethereum infrastructure. Uh, for example, it's a swarm from Ethereum Foundation that use Ethereum peering network and Ether token. And what is important, it introduce and extend Ethereum infrastructure by new function. It's a decentralized storage for your files. Another example is Golem. Its project use smart contracts, ERC20 tokens, and introduce new function. It's a marketplace for computation. And our project use Ethereum infrastructure and extend, extend it by new function. Try to explain how. <coughs> Two weeks ago, I was in South Germany where big companies uh, like Bosch and Kerker and Fujitsu talks about Industry 4.0. And all of them <coughs> show him like this. IT company is a partner of Smart Factory and customers <coughs> interact with Smart Factory via web portal. For example, Kerker company have a uh, Zoe IT company as a partner and Zoe provides services for digitalization of production. But as you can see, this him is not so good because a money flow and technical flow are separated and uh, it transformed IT company to single point of failure. And customers cannot trust to smart factories because IT company uh, can uh, make a fails and uh, maybe uh, we have an alternative now. Maybe we have a solution for direct interaction between humans and smart factories. And uh, yes, we already have Ethereum network and smart contracts help us to combine technical data and economical data in one transaction. But Ethereum is not enough. We also need a market to help customers find the production and services. We also need uh, integration between industrial hardware and uh, software and digital world. We need to combine this. For this reason, we develop Robonomics uh, platform 
and uh, in second part I do deep diving how it's work with the structure scheme of Ragonomics platform don't panic I am <laughs> <laughs> uh, customer and I'm here I want to get a service from Smart Factory. What I should do? I'm going to market, uh, not this market, uh, decentralized market, and uh, want to find production. From one side, we have a lot of decentralized market now. Uh, like Ether Delta, it's an uh, on-chain market, as you know, but uh, on-chain markets is too slow and too expensive. And uh, we keep in mind that decentralized market should be off-chain. From another side, we have uh, projects like ZeroX and Barncore, uh, a lot of things that implement off-chain markets. but now, this project works with ERC20 tokens only, and we cannot work with this protocol, uh, with smart contracts, but we need liability smart contracts to provide service from market, uh, from smart factory. And for this reason, we introduce a new kind of market, it is a liability market where smart production and customers can find uh, and uh, find equilibrium point of supply and demand. Uh, like it's an uh, off-chain market, we use a messaging system based on IPFS publisher subscriber as message bus, where customers and uh, smart factories exchange uh, proposals for providing services. And uh, why we should be, uh, how we can sure that message send it from a customer, from a customer account. For this reason, we use elliptic curve cryptography. We use special fields on the message, contains the unical uh, number and the signature. All of fields from message signet from user account and we can sure that any change in the message broke the signature and we can trust the message from message bus. It described in our white paper you can read in future. And um, another problem. Commonly, we do not uh, uh, want to uh, get a service forever. Uh, for this reason, we should keep in mind that services and uh, uh, should keep in mind that we uh, do think about life cycle of messages. For this reason, we use special line, like a deadline, where future, uh, where a container block in the future, uh, what message uh, do not be accepted by a system. And the next question, what about who should settle the messages in a blockchain? Like a <coughs> Like houses in the sea uh, helps ships to keep a course. Like houses in our platform helps smart factories keep uh, deals. For this reason, we introduce new role. It's a role of Ethereum platform, and uh, we introduce smart contracts where. Uh, make liabilities contracts. It's 
API of liability creator. Uh, if Lighthouse find messages with slug fly and the daemon equilibrium point, the message should e have contained equal cost and the token and another fields. Lighthouse settle with liability smart contract. Smart contract contains um, fields from proposal of liability. Additional field that contains the result of works of production and fields that describe the liability parties. And we can be sure that this address is corrected because we recover it address from a signature of message. And no one can make a fraud for this. After production was done, the Lighthouse settled finalization transaction for liability smart contract. For this reason, we also use message bus and we also use uh, recovering from signature. And uh, we check that sender of results are equal to liability promiser. And finally, part of platform is a cyber physical system, it is a production, it's industrial hardware, and we use robotic operation system as a standard of open hardware communication. And um, for this reason, we introduce a Linux system distribution, which is called AERA. It contains uh, industrial hardware integration, it contains uh, support for <coughs> industrial protocols like OPC UA, and also it is a Robonomics client. That means that AERA helps integrate industrial software, industrial hardware with new digital work, world like a Ethereum platform. And then, last part. I want to talk about working scenario that we uh, implement in the last consensus 2018. It's look like this. It's protocol diagram. You know, right side is a sensor network. Uh, one kind of sensors uh, placed in St. Petersburg, Toliati, and New York. And the uh, left side is a customer who want to collect data from sensors network. Sensors network contains data of humidity, temperature, and uh, its radiation. Uh, the first step is uh, find to equilibrium point. The customer sends messages to message bus and sensor sends a message and both parties have agreement a lighthouse create new liability after that sensors network <coughs> tracking the liability collect the data and publish it to message bus lighthouse see the message from sensor network, finalize the liability. After that, emission moving to Lighthouse, uh, price uh, cost of liability moving to sensor network, and the result are delivered to customer. Customers see result in decentralized application. I hope uh, that this information is useful for you and if you are a developer, welcome and join us to implement your open industrial world. Thank you for your attention.